Hi guys, in this video we'll talk about what is FPS or frames per second, what does it depend on and how to increase your FPS in games like Fortnite, Apex Legends and many more. If you want to go straight to the tips on how to increase your FPS, go to 3 minutes and 40 seconds, but make sure you watch all of them because only then will you get a dramatical boost in FPS. And also, check out my video on how to increase FPS in Fortnite, so just click on the card in the top right corner. Or, check out my video on how to increase FPS in Apex Legends, so just click on the card in the top right corner also. I'm gonna try to make this tutorial as short as possible, so let's start. FPS is the number of frames or images your monitor is displaying each second. The higher the FPS, the smoother and more responsive the game will seem. The name frames per second stands for how many frames can your graphics card render each second and how many frames can your monitor display each second. I'm gonna be saying frames but it's basically the same as images. There's one more important thing that you need to know and that is your monitor's refresh rate. The refresh rate of a monitor is the speed at which the monitor's image changes or refreshes. So the faster the refresh rate, the more times the image can update every second. This number is measured in Hertz. So basically just simple, it's the number of images that your monitor changes each second. A typical monitor will have a refresh rate of 60 Hertz and some high-end gaming PCs have a refresh rate of 240 Hertz. Just some random info, cinemas run at just 24 Hertz. So having 140 FPS in a game doesn't really matter if you have a monitor with a refresh rate of 60 Hertz. That means that the monitor can just show 60 images per second and your graphics card is rendering 140 images each second and then screen tearing starts to show. Screen tearing happens when the in-game FPS is higher than your monitor's refresh rate. Even though in basically every tutorial on how to increase FPS it is said to turn off vSync, it's actually vSync that helps when screen tearing happens. So vSync actually caps your frame rate or FPS to your monitor's refresh rate. But unfortunately vSync can also reduce your maximum FPS by limiting it at 30 FPS if your GPU or graphics card fails to consistently render 60 frames per second. So for this I would recommend always capping your FPS but we'll talk more on this later. Your FPS depends on mainly the CPU or your processor and your GPU or graphics card. A lot of people have asked is the CPU or GPU which is responsible for FPS and the answer can only be yes. I'm gonna answer this question for all to understand. A fast CPU and slow GPU, your FPS will suffer. A fast GPU and slow CPU, same situation. So at the end, it all depends on the type of game you're playing. But saying that it depends mostly on the GPU would not be wrong. And remember that if you only have a high-end graphics card which gives you 200 FPS but a low-end monitor with a refresh rate of 60Hz is also bad. And now I hope that you learned what is FPS and what does it depend on and we'll talk about how to increase it in any game. First let's start with the in-game settings. I'm gonna take Fortnite as an example. Go to the settings of the game and first set it to windowed full screen whenever you can. So set the window mode to windowed full screen and this can give you a little advantage. The next thing what you want to do is set the frame rate limit or cap your FPS. I would recommend this for everyone that gets FPS drops. So for example, if you get like 70 to 80 FPS but it drops to 40 then just cap it at 60 FPS and that should be fixed. By doing this you're limiting your FPS and you're putting less stress on your graphics card. Also I would recommend to cap your FPS at your monitor's refresh rate. So look up your monitor's refresh rate on Google and if it's 60 Hz then just cap it at 60 FPS. If it's 144 Hz or 120 Hz then just cap it at 120 FPS or 144 FPS and so on. Next thing you want to do is turn off VSync. 
As I said earlier, if you're getting low FPS, then you want to set this to off. You can turn off the shadows and anti-aliasing and basically just set everything else to low or just turn off. You can also turn down the 3D resolution, but that's up to you. So at the end, just tweak all of the in-game settings and see which worked the best for you. And once you're done tweaking, just click on apply and basically that's it. The second step is to download the file from the description. There are five applications that will increase your FPS. They are not viruses, you can scan them with your antivirus software if you want. Once you download it, what you want to do is open the folder and right click on high priority. So right click on high priority .reg or just high priority and click on open with and select notepad. Okay. And now once you open the text document, what you want to do is change your game name to the game that you're trying to increase your FPS in. So for example, if I'm trying to increase my FPS in Fortnite, I'm gonna enter Fortnite name, Fortnite's name here. Or if I'm trying to increase the FPS in Apex Legends, I'm gonna enter the Apex Legends game name here. If you don't know the game name, then what you want to do is just right click on the taskbar and open the task manager. So it's not as easy as typing Fortnite or Apex Legends here. You need to know the application's name, which you can find out by right-clicking on test, uh, right-clicking on the taskbar, opening Task Manager, and now just right-click on the game that you're trying to play. So for me, it's Fortnite. Click on Open File Location, and this folder should open. So as you can see, the game name is highlighted. For Fortnite, it's Fortnite Client Win64 Shipping. So just copy the name by clicking on rename and clicking on copy. And once you copy the name, you can close the folder and just paste the name here. So it should go Fortnite Client Win64 Shipping .exe. For Apex, the name the game name is R5 Apex. And once you enter the game name, once you find it and enter it, what you want to do is just click on file and save. And after you save the file, just exit notepad and now double click on high priority. Click on yes. Are you sure you want to continue? Click on yes again. And as you can see, the keys and values contained have been successfully added to the registry. And this will basically just set Fortnite or any game that you're trying to play as a high priority application and the processor and graphics card will focus mostly on it and not on the other processes that are running in the background. So just make sure that you enter the correct game name. The third tip is to open Meme Redact. So just click on it and install it. It should be done pretty quickly. And click on finish. And basically what this app does is it optimizes your RAM memory and it frees up a little bit so you can play your game. What you want to do is click on clean memory. Are you sure you want to clean the memory? Click on yes and wait for it to finish. And there you go. It says that memory was released with 800 megabytes result. Once you do that, you can close the application. The fourth tip is to open RAM Rush. So it's a similar app to Mem Redirect. Just install it. It should be done pretty quickly and click on finish. And now what you want to do is basically just click on start optimize. And it says RAM Rush optimizing and just wait for it to finish. And there it is, it's done. And once it finishes, you can now close the app or the app will close automatically. The fifth step is to open timer resolution. So this app doesn't require any installation. And basically what you want to do is open the application before you start playing your game, click on maximum and then just play your game but leave the application open. Once you finish playing your game, what you want to do is open this application again from the taskbar, click on default, so revert the changes, and you can now close it. And basically that's just it. Just remember that in order for this app to work, you need to have it open while you're playing the game, and you need to revert the changes after you finish playing the game. And the last step is tweaking or advanced system tweaker. So what you want to do is double click on this application and install it. 
and once it's done just click on next and finish. Now what you want to do is click on continue to program and basically what this app does it tweaks or optimizes your PC for any game. What you want to do is click on the plus next to speed tweaks and click on the pluses next to general, networking and services. And now just select all of them. So click on the first one and click on add selected tweak. Click on the second one and click on add selected tweak. So just select all of them. And now once they're all green, what you want to do is select those for Windows 7 only if you're using Windows 7. So just click on Windows the plus on the plus next to Windows 7 only. Click on the plus next to speed tweaks and select these also. And in case you're using Windows XP, click on the plus next to Windows XP only. Go to the bottom and click on the plus next to speed up tweaks and select them also. And if you're using just Windows 10 as I am, you want to select the general networking and services tweaks. And once they're all green, what you want to do is click on apply tweaks. And wait for it to finish. And it's done. Now you can just close the application. Click on no. And you can now just restart your PC. Once you do that, what you want to do is open the game again and your FPS should be increased. And that's it for this tutorial. I hope you liked it and I hope it increased your FPS. Thanks for watching, please subscribe, like and comment if you have any questions about any of these tips. Bye.